welcome to Therapist Spotlight. Hello everybody and welcome to Anta's Therapist Spotlight, the podcast where we aim to showcase our wonderful members to the wider community. I'm your host, Joshua Brooks, and with us today is Leanne Stockwell. Leanne is a naturopath from Brisbane that combines kinesiology with a naturopathic testing to get right down into sort of the root cause and how, I'm guessing, how the herbs and stuff affect your muscles and whether they turn them on or off. So it's going to be really interesting to dive into this because it's not so well known a modality. So I'm really looking forward to it. Leanne, how are you this morning? I'm good, Joshua. Thank you for having me on. It's our absolute pleasure. So First question, what got you into natural medicine and natural health? Well, I have been in natural medicine for quite a while now, probably tw nearly 25 years. Um, gee, it has been that long now that I think yeah, about wow. it. Uh, yeah, look, I, I graduated um, with, a, with a marketing degree many years ago because that's what I thought I wanted to do. Uh, when I was that age, and but I grew up in a um, in a, a house with a, a mum who was a, an emergency care uh, nurse, and funnily enough, though she was really into natural medicine, so we had cupboards of natural medicines, and you know, so at home we were natural. At work, she was you know different. Um, yeah, so I guess it was you know maybe ingrained in me from a young age, but. I went away from it thinking I wanted to, you know, be in the business world and do all that fun stuff. And a couple of years after graduating, I thought, you know, there's something missing. I just want to go back mm. and study. So I moved to Brisbane and studied natural medicine and yeah, I can't leave. <laughs> it's, it's quite addictive, this, um, you know, this ability to help people and, and change their lives. It is, yeah, it's, quite addictive so I'm still here still doing it now and so what made you choose naturopathy and what made you choose kinesiology and what made you think that you could combine them two together it's, it's very interesting yeah well I I guess I started with I actually started as a remedial massage therapist mm -hmm. um and that enabled me to you know to make money and have a business while I was studying naturopathy and I loved the idea of naturopathy because it combined the, the nutrition, the herbs, mm. the body work, everything. So, yeah. and yeah, it was just, it just appealed to me. Um, but it wasn't long after I graduated and started seeing patients that I had a patient one day who said to me, have you ever um, had kinesiology or... Uh, any type of muscle testing and I said no you know I'd done a basic amount of touch for health but I mm. hadn't been to a kinesiologist and she said you know I go to this fellow he's amazing you know you should go and check it out so I did because I wanted to know more and you know I was hooked um, from day one it was like he was able to to use testing vials which I use now which are these beautifully gorgeous homeopathic testing vials and um, he was able to tell me pretty much exactly what was going on in my body and what I needed. And it just pinpointed everything. And I knew that in myself, I knew it was right. And I knew that, you know, I had to learn this. So I spent the next however many years, and I'm still learning, um, learning how to, how to combine applied kinesiology with natural medicine. Mm -hmm. And the thing I really love about kinesiology, and that's always spoken to me, is it's a direct feedback mechanism. If your muscle fails and then it doesn't, you know, they can, people can try and explain it away with whatever they want, but the facts are the facts. It was weak. Now it's strong. Something's yeah. going on. And I really like that when you're explaining that to your client, because it does give you a little bit more, maybe validity. And it's that instant validity. It's not sort of like a herbal medicine where you're like, we'll take your prescription and we'll see how we feel. And it has to be a little bit of a trust. It's like, well, look, you felt that you tried to stop my hand. You couldn't. And now you can, you know, and I think that that builds a little bit more trust and rapport with it. Have you found that? Absolutely. And, you know, it's a tool now for me that I rely on so much. Um, I there, there are days when I think, well, I don't know what I'd do without it. I'd probably yeah. use intuition and other tools. Um, but for me, that, and some of it probably is intuition as well, mm. but the muscle testing just shows the patient. It's like, oh my God, yes, my body either likes that or it doesn't like that. It's got an issue with this or it doesn't have an issue with this. 
And yeah, it does really help um, the validity of, of what you're saying and it, it backs it up. And then I always like to explain to my clients is like, now imagine that you're playing sport, right? You can mm. still move your arm or swing your arm, but you know, it's not working quite as efficiently as it can. You know, your muscles, you have to recruit other muscles because you know that that one's not. And it's just from what you're eating or it's from what you're ingesting, you know, or <laughs> what you're breathing or, you know, again, just a circuit that's not turned on. It's like how much more integral, how much more firing and how much better can you be performing if you just switch, flick these switches a little bit and um, maybe change what you're, what you're eating. Exactly. Yeah, I love yeah. it. Yeah. And so now... If I'm a client and I'm coming to you, what does a consultation process look like with this? And um, are you with your naturopathy then? Are you big into getting them to have blood work done before they come and see you? Or do you just like to come in and have the kinesiology consultation first? How does that whole initial consult look in your practice and what can clients expect when they come in? Yeah, good question. It, it can, it changes a little bit for me and it does depend on the, on the client. Uh, if people have blood work, I love them to bring it because that gives me a heap of information. If they don't have blood work, then I still see them because I can get that, a really good picture in that first, in that initial visit of what's happening for their body. So I will always do muscle testing in that first visit, always. And I'll probably spend at least three quarters of an hour doing it for that wow, session. Cool. So we get a full picture of what's going on in the body. Uh, and with the muscle testing, we'll test everything from foods to toxins, to hormones, to adrenals, to stress, everything. Um, and so I've got that picture. Then for a lot of people, we will do further testing, pathology mm -hmm. testing, uh, especially if certain things show up around hormones or gut. I will usually hone in on that and say, well, let's, you know, let's back this up a little bit more and then do some further testing. Um, some patients want to do further testing. Some say, well, for now, I'm just gonna go with the kinesiology and see how I feel on the protocol and then we can test along the way. So yeah, it, it does change a little bit for me, but I use both mm -hmm. uh, and because you know it's not a standalone. I don't believe that kinesiology can just be a standalone tool um, naturopathically. Yeah, so we do both. Yeah, and so then, I'm assuming that you've also got a massive questionnaire for people to fill out, which goes through all of your standard sort of stuff, past health history, what, yeah. what medications, all that kind of thing that they can expect. Exactly. Um, I do send out one online now when people book in. I think probably most prackies do that these yeah. days. Um, it's not a massive questionnaire, that one. Mm -hmm. um, we tend to do more of that when, you know, we'll sit for 20 minutes. Um, so that initial session for me is pretty long. <laughs> so we do sit, get the full case history, um, and then, yeah, then do some kinesiology and find out what's going on. Yeah, wonderful. Mm. And so then once you find that out, how does a treatment protocol look with you? And I know everyone's different and you're going to be doing different sorts of things, but yeah, what, what do you bring in? Are you a big herb person? Are you a big nutraceutical person? Supplements? How, how does that work in your world? And what do you tend to prescribe and what do you like to prescribe to people? Yeah, good question again. You ask such good questions. Um, <laughs> I try. <laughs> just tell me why, why you do what you do, really. Um, yeah, look, I will test everything from uh, herbs to supplements to homeopathics mm. um, in my clinic. And I, I am probably a tablet and capsule person. Mm -hmm. I have had a big herbal dispensary in the past, but it's not so big now. I, I did find compliance was an issue. Um, for a lot of my clients. So I tend to go for tableted herbs and mixed um, formulas. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I do like a lot of the mixed formulas that have the herbs and the um, the supplements, but I'll always test for priority in that first visit. Mm -hmm. So I don't like to give more than probably three things in that first visit. Mm -hmm. And again, that's where the kinesiology comes in because it gives you the priorities um, for that initial treatment plan. And then we, we tweak. Mm -hmm. And I know from myself, I've, I've visited a few kinesiologists and there is quite a really good array of mental health, different things, as well as physical health, as well as, you know, like I said, food, ingestives and all that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're testing for as well? And do you then go for like your naturopathic supplements and naturopathic herbs for mental health and physical health and what the body's craving for? Or is it just more that 
naturopathic herb and what the body wants? You know, I th- I think again, it it is really a mix, mm. um, and it really depends what comes up um, for the patient. Um, but I will use I will use emotional clearing as well from yep. the kinesiology perspective if that is the priority. But I will usually always mix it with something else, so mm. some kind of um, either a herbal um, formula, a tableted formula, or um, you know, we might say if anxiety comes up, for example, um, with a client, which often does for many of mine, uh, we will, yes, ask what the priority is. It could be emotional clearing plus a mineral or emotional mm. clearing plus a herb or emotional clearing plus a combined herbal formula. So it's really good at pinpointing that. And honestly, yes, I follow instinct, but I go with the muscle testing on that. Yeah, for sure. And, and put those things together. And it must be so, like, I'm just thinking it must be so advantageous, right? Because we know that, you know, you can take St. John's wort for depression, right? But yeah. if if, if, you're, if your depression isn't necessarily coming from an anxiety thing, it could be coming from, like you said, a mineral deficiency. So you can give them all the St. John's wort you want, but the body really is craving, you know, magnesium, calcium, you know, even chromium or something, you know, something like that. Yeah, I just think that, that having that muscle testing, like you said, can really pinpoint down that priority and could save you a lot of work of, you know, maybe trying and substituting and going around. Totally. There is just, it just takes, for me, it takes the mm. guesswork out of everything. Mm. And, um, yeah, it, I do rely on it an awful lot. Um, yeah, but it, it mm-hmm. works, you know, 90% of the time we get results quickly and we get, you know, people on a very small amount of supplements as opposed to, you know, yeah. shotgun approach or spaghetti at the wall. Yep. Um, yeah, and it, it works. That. Spaghetti at the wall. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah. so do you use much um, homeopathics as well in your practice and flower essences? Is, is that in your wheelhouse as well? Is that sort of part of your toolkit? I will, I will use some. Um, yep. Uh, not being a homeopath, I'm I'm more I go for the the mixed um, homeopathics. Yep. I know homeopaths probably wouldn't agree with with us doing that as naturopaths, but you know if if it works and if it tests well, I will use mixed homeopathics. Um, you know, even rescue remedy and and other things. And um, I've got some emotional essences too that I use that I just love, and I just think that enhances everything else. Yeah, for sure, definitely. And like I, I've said it. A fair few times now like flower essences are one of my favorite favorite therapies they just yeah. they helped me so much it was actually quite amazing how much they um broke down a whole heap of barriers and stuff so it's yeah yeah, yeah it's like it's easy to discount those things if if we're not into vibrational medicine as well but yeah. oh, it's just like i probably wouldn't use it for the base issues but it's like the icing um and sometimes it just clears the way for that much better result Mm -hmm. yeah just like that sort of i guess those little blockages that we're not quite aware of that's what i've always found and then yeah it allows again i i personally believe it then allows the minerals and the herbs to be absorbed more easily yeah you know and so it gives us that yeah like you said that icing on the cake so we were talking a little bit before as well and so you offered training to naturopaths who are looking at maybe introducing muscle testing to their practice, how does that work? And yeah, what have you found the response to that have been, has been? It's It's been really great. Um, yeah, the only thing that's held us back has been COVID. <laughs> because yeah. I woke up one day with this wonderful idea and said to my husband, oh, I'm gonna teach muscle testing to practitioners. Why have I not done this before? because I get so many of my patients going, can you can you send me to someone in such and such? Or can you, you know, get a family member treated? You know, we want someone that does what you do. And I have to say, I don't know anyone that, that mm. does that. I can send you to a naturopath, but they don't do this. So then I thought, oh my God, I need to, I need to teach this. Um, so it's called BioMT and it's, it's basically my technique. Um, of naturopathic muscle testing Uh, and we have run a brisbane event um that was amazing that was that was our first event we've had to cancel two others because of covid melbourne and sydney which is very disappointing but it's happening for next year that's the plan yeah good 
Um, and yeah, we got a really good response for the practitioners that um, that came along. Yeah, wonderful. And um, yeah. just another question has popped into my head. And so do you also do like surrogate testing for like, say, babies or children or, you know, like, again, distance sort of things, if you are looking at someone who is down in Melbourne and can't come up to Queensland and that they've, they've got a relative up here. Can, can you do that kind of thing as well? Yes. And, and it's a little more difficult to mm. explain that. <laughs> yeah, very much so. <laughs> but um, it works. But it works. People, it does work. And I, I used to be a little apprehensive about doing it. Mm. Um, until I found a practitioner for my son, I feel a little too close to treat um, from an emotional perspective, my own children. Yep. So I found a lady out West in Queensland who treats him long distance. Mm -hmm. And at first I thought, oh, this is weird. Um, but honestly, the, the results just are amazing. And I, mm -hmm. I see it as soon as she treats him, I, I can see a change in him. And that probably gave me the confidence to go, you know what? If, you know, if she can do it, I can do it, whether it's biochemical or emotional, we can still do it long distance. And, you know, basically if we use parents as a surrogate when the patients are here. Mm -hmm. So why can't we use ourselves as a surrogate if we're doing online consults? For sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, I do it. <laughs> And so I was also looking at your website and it looks like you've got a few different other like detox programs and detox protocols and stuff like that. Yeah. What, what, what other sort of offerings are on, are on there that you have had for people? Uh, I do run um, short um, hormone resets and detoxes for a lot of my clients. Um, that's normally for current um, clients that I see, but um, I have just recently put a program together for probably my ideal client and that's, you know, women who are 40 plus yep. um, to help them balance their, their hormones, their, their mindset and their metabolism. Mm -hmm. So there is now a, a six month um, in-depth reset program mm -hmm. that I will be, well, it's launched now. It's only just launched. Cool. Um, so that's a bit exciting. So we're getting yeah. um, some interest in that. And yeah, I just find that. I can do a lot face to face, mm -hmm. but as a lot of prackies probably know, there's so much more information that you want to give to people mm -hmm. and there's so much more that they need that they don't get from just coming to you face to face once a month or whenever, however often it is. So yeah, online program. Um, yeah, it's mm -hmm. just a great way to go. And it's so important that as well, because it can be quite overwhelming, especially if you are struggling with the health challenge. So you've got all this other anxiety and then you come to the practitioner and they impart all this information and you're like, well, I don't understand what that means. I don't understand what that term means. I don't understand what, you know, and again, it just can be a little bit too much, I think. So by giving them this online platform where they can work through it. And like you said, six months is great. You know, like it gives them time. You can digest, you can relax, yeah. you can just start to slowly move through. I think it just takes away that overwhelm that can be a little bit like the spaghetti on the wall analogy when you sit yeah. down. <laughs> yes. And I, I just think, you know, people need support. They need accountability. Mm -hmm. um, that's why they don't get, in my experience in the past, that's why they don't get the results that they want and that you really want for them. Yeah. Um, because to do that all the time, face to face like that, that's time and that's money mm -hmm. um, for, for you and, and for them. So yeah, it's, it's a wonderful way to do it. And I think, you know, maybe COVID has helped us a little bit in that way to realize that we can do a lot of it online. Yeah, excellent. So we're just coming up on time now, Leanne, but thank you so mm. much for coming on and sharing all this wonderful knowledge with us. If people are looking for you, where can they find you? Where's your website? Where's your clinic? And how can they get in contact? And yep. Um, my my face-to-face -face clinic is actually in Brisbane in Fernie Hills. Mm -hmm. uh, my website is uh, abetterunaturally.com.au and most of the info is on there or um, on socials, again, a better you naturally. Um, they will find me and message or, or contact via email. Perfect. Well, as always, guys, the links will be in the description box below, but we'd just like to thank you so much again for coming on, Leanne. It's been wonderful. Thank you, Joshua. That's, it's been amazing. And um, I've enjoyed talking to you. Excellent. And for everybody else out there, have a great day and we'll catch us all next time. Hey, see ya. See you. 
Thank you for listening to Therapist Spotlight. If you would like to know more about ANTA, visit us at www.anta.com.au.